sun don't shine in the shade. Bird can't fly in the cage. Welcome. Welcome back. It's been a while. It was Heartland Breaks, so I had to do teacher stuff. Jordan had to go do Jordan things. It is what it is. Um, what should we talk about first this week? The pickup of the week? Overpriced pickup of the week. Overpriced? Why? Do you have something to admit to us? Oh, well, yeah. And we do the pickup of the week every week. All right. Hit me. Hit me. Myself paying <sighs> 50 cents for a defense that <clears throat> got negative points. Yep. I'm going to let everyone know right now, never play the Indianapolis Colts defense. They're really bad. I, I'm switching it up. You know, you paid the most for a team or a player that did negative. I'm calling out JD because he's bad at this. Oh, yeah. um, for picking up Drew Stanton for two dollars and three cents, Drew got points for him, but JD's gonna lose this week. So if you think about it, JD paid two bucks just to get oh, another loss. loss. <laughs> <laughs> Only JD. <laughs> Only JD would do that. Um, let's talk about pickup of the week. Let's bring some bright spots into the league. Blau Powell. Yeah, Blau. Uh, Mark Ingram on by. Yep. Eric. Alright. Uh, near to running back on Blau Powell. Got him 11 or so. Yeah, I saw that Blau Powell's usage rate is going up yeah. each and every week. And Forte is about bound to get hurt. Yeah, point. he's going to. The only issue is Powell offers nothing in the run game. True. But he had six catches. But hey, we're a PPR league. So um, we don't give a shit about the run game. True that. <laughs> every... Every year, I praise Marcus Dieger for his Dieger draft. Him twice. And I'm going to praise him twice right now for pickups of the week. First off, Jesse James. Marcus needed a tight end. Clive Walford is going to play. Boy. Tyler Eifert's done forever. Nope, he's playing next week. No, he's not. Mm-hmm. And then um, Jesse James comes in and gets a touchdown. That's solid. That's a good pickup. Can't be mad. And then here's uh, my anticipated pickup. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Uh, Jaquiz Rogers. He pays nothing for him, so... I mean, paid, yeah, paid a quarter to get Jaquiz. We're going to talk about this later. Charles Sims just got put on the injured reserve today, so that could mean that Jaquiz, depending on how long Doug Martin is out, could be an RB2 flex play for two to three weeks, which is solid. You can't really find that on the waiver wire at this point no. in the year. No. Um, let's move on. So far, do you want to talk about best player performance this week? Sure. All right, sure. So, I have three guys that I want to just quickly mention. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald had 26 points. Playing with Drew Stanton, he got two touchdowns. No one saw that coming. That's a big-time performance. I know T.Y. Hilton had 32 points. I think he's a top-five wide receiver the rest of the season. I think the Colts are going to be playing from behind almost every game, and uh, T.Y. Hilton's the only guy that Andrew Luck looks to downfield. And then Ezekiel Elliott, I think this was his big coming out game that oh, he's the man. he's the star of the team he's the rest man. of the season. He had thirty two points this week. Um Big Ben had thirty eight, just throwing bombs. Bombs dude. To Sammy Coates would be another Shit. great performance. He had thirty three, I think. Sammy Coates. And then if you're gonna <laughs> say Zeke and Hilton, I'll take my own man David Johnson Your getting thirty three and a half on on a Thursday night. I went to bed and he had 19 points. Woke up and he had 33 and a half. It's a Jesus miracle. So There's I tried only... to go to bed at halftime last night hoping Cobb would have a bunch of points. And he did. Maybe. There's it's... only one person in this league who would start Sammy Coates the week that he gets 33 points. And that's Albert Heisen the fifth. <laughs> and that's ridiculous. Big Al. Um, did you want to talk trades as well? Yeah. Well, they're all me. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so... I, uh, as you guys know, I love trades. I love trades more than anything else in this world, and there's three of them that we want to talk about. I have my perspective, but Jordan, you can give me your perspective. Let's start with um, sending out Allen Robinson to Marcus to get in return uh, Shepard and Macklin. I think that's a good trade for you. Um, Robinson will be the big receiver that Marcus will love mm-hmm. throughout the year, and then you Number just got one. some wide receiver twos and add to your list. Add to my list, I love Shepard because I think he's big-time keeper potential. Mm -hmm. I can't remember what round he was drafted in. Let me quick check. Shepard was drafted in the 10th, so he would cost me a 9th round pick, which I am happy to give up for a guy that could be a wide receiver too next season. And that's kind of what I was looking at. I think my team's kind of hurt 
so I was looking to the future, which is way too early, but it's me. Um, talk to me about Russell Wilson okay. for <laughs> mm, nice. for Andy Dalton and LeGarrette Blunt. Um, <clears throat> up front, obviously, uh, Micah wins that. Mm-hmm, I agree. Because Russell's on by, but I don't know. They're keeping Russell in the pocket, and that means big passing numbers if we look at the end of last year and yeah. against the Jets. So, And I think Blunt's... I don't know. I think his points per game are going to go down. I think he's capped now that... Yeah. I saw a stat that Brady averaged 39 pass attempts last season, and he threw for over 400 this week. Blunt got a ton of carries, yeah. but he averaged like 1.5 yards per carry this but week. But still, like, Gronk gets him down to the one, and then who got the touchdown? And then Laguerre <laughs> will get the touchdown. Yeah. So he's got touchdown insurance, but... Yeah, that's about it. I just... No catches ever. Yeah. And Andy Dolan's a good quarterback. He's yeah. he's good. I just went for the upside with Russell Wilson. Yeah. And then last but not least, uh, I traded away Paxton Lynch to Tarleson to get DeAndre Washington. Um, not a good start for Paxton Lynch. No, not a great career. So I'd say but, good trade for you. I mean, you got, uh, yeah. I don't know. It was just just one of those trades. You know, I needed as many players as possible because I had half my team on by this week. <laughs> And then I thought DeAndre Washington had big time potential with that ba- Oakland backfield. I mean, he still got the same amount of carries as Jalen Richard. He just didn't produce as much. But I mean, there's always potential with him. He's a he's a draft pick. He's a rookie. And then what's next? Best bench play. Who you got? Marcus Mariota. I agree. <coughs> Don't blame you. Hadn't yeah. had a great start to the season. No, awful. Here he is. Awful. I don't think he had finished top 15 yet this season, and then uh-huh. yesterday he finishes the number one quarterback. No. Big Ben's number one. Oh, Big Ben was? At 38. Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. Martellus Bennett had a good game. Martellus Bennett had three touchdowns. <laughs> Very good point, Jordan. You're right where he... We're both right on that part. Uh, Bennett, three touchdowns. That's a classic Martellus Bennett game because you can throw at him next week and he's going to get Zero. a catch for 19 yards. And then Gronk will have three touchdowns. And then Gronk will go out. Or Chris go Hogan eight. will have 100 and some yards. But you do you do realize that Martellus Bennett does – he's on the field a ton yeah. still for the Patriots. So he's a viable play. Um, I also want to throw out Brian Hoyer, the boy, the original. The boy. A.K.A. The young professional. A.K.A. Bald penis head. <laughs> Ooh, this is going on YouTube. Yeah, it's all good. A.K.A. What's some good nicknames for Brian Hoyer? The false hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Bears will ride him until they realize that he's not a good quarterback. But he actually is better than Jay Cutler. He's a great fantasy QB, though. Fantastic. 29 <laughs> points this week. And he was staring down Kevin White. And then Kevin White died. And then I had Cam Meredith. Let's... Transition into injuries this week. Injuries. We didn't really talk about injuries last week, so yeah, talk Kevin about Kevin White. Right. Yeah. It's sad. It's very sad. Coming off double digit targets both weeks. Mm-hmm. And he's gone. He had big time sleeper potential for you and keeper potential. And now he has no goes. Sad. He starts next season with what? Five games on his resume? Four games. At age 25. Yeah, four games on his resume. Both leg injuries. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good news for Kevin White. No. And it's kind of sad because he only had two real games of good production. Yeah. So, I mean, scary. Whatever for me, poor guy. It is what He's it done. is. But, um, a couple more. Charles Sims got put on IR today. It's good news for Marcus and Jaqueef Rogers. Um, did you get that? Then uh, Eddie Lacy got an ankle injury yesterday, <laughs> and so did uh, Steve Smith. Both of them didn't look serious, but you what you wonder. I don't believe that Eddie Lacy did P90X all offseason. I don't he think was so. Fat last he night. could be. He a ran fantastic like ten yards and was lineman. calling to the sideline. He was just done. He's huge. He's yeah. got a sick spin move though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's so fat. He's so, his, a defensive tackle his playing running back. Is huge. He's so fat. Um. Oh, briefly, briefly. Um, we didn't do a video about this, but I, I did picks for this week just because I'm really bad at this. 
I had myself being Albert wrong. Marcus beating Micah. That was correct because Marcus's wide receivers are so good. Jordan, I had you going over, Eric. If Jameis gets under 17 tonight, you win. If he goes over, yeah, you lose. I had JD over Drake. That's wrong. I think Why would you do that? Honestly, you know, sometimes I just pull for JD. It's like a... Like you make just, a wish kind of thing. Yeah, make a wish. You just, you just pull out for the underdog and for the loser that no one really likes that much. You just hope he does well. But it didn't work out, so... Another time. Uh, I had uh, Rindles over Tarlson. I think that's correct so far. And then I had Davis over Devin, and Devin's kicking Davis's butt. Davis, I don't. I think he's at sixty-eight points right now. Yeah, he has three guys. Three guys, three guys tonight, tonight, but still sixty-eight points on a not great. No. Not great. So, all right, we'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. We're in like ten minutes. Wait, yeah. here's our uh, here's our ending our ending line. What should be like? Uh, like, and that's all from the Dirty Thirty.